Hi, and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. In previous videos, I built a CNC machine, but now I need to drive it. So that's the subject of this video. Let's get making chips. And here I am, ready to do the initial setup. The Z axis is still a bit Heath Robinson. I'm waiting for some drag chain to be delivered. But it's sufficiently together to do the testing. The machine is fitted with an Arduino Uno, which is running the Gerbil software. This is a G code interpreter. You send it messages and it executes that move one at a time. Those messages come from a PC. In this case, I'm using the Universal G code sender, a great bit of free software very comprehensive. Initially it's all about setting up the direction, step size and making sure the limit switches work. This is concluded when you can do a home, where it seeks out the end stops, taking two goes at it. First the Z, then the other two axes. It's now set in the home position. I'm not going to cover the detail on all of this. There's plenty of good videos on YouTube which will go through it for you. Next I loaded a file meant for my other CNC machine and after removing a couple of codes that weren't valid it's merrily trying to cut something in the midair. At least it means it all works. Of course I haven't set the feed speeds and accelerations yet. The heart of the top wiring is the drag chain. China via Amazon, of course. It's secured at the moving end with a small bracket and directly to the frame on the fixed end. After running the cables for the spindle, the stepper motor and the limit switch through the drag chain, it was fitted in place and the cables secured with P-clips. Time to see if things still work. So let's try a homing operation. Third axis. And the X and Y's together. And it's set. Next to check if the spindle moves. I should be controlling this manually for the moment. Auto start will happen later. It takes a while to get up to speed. I'll have to increase the acceleration. But that comes later. It's quite a quiet spindle, even though it's air cooled. For the first trial, I'm doing an air cut first, just to make sure all's in order. It thinks it's doing letters at the moment. So, share with me the first live cut, I hope. First spindle on, manual at the moment. Set the program in motion. It's pausing to get up to speed. Doesn't know where it is. So here we go.
Ne čeli. In where? In my haste to give it a go, I put in a 45 degree cut instead of a 60, so it doesn't look quite right. But hey, it did the cutting. So now let's try for a proper cut. So there it is. Let's have it out for a closer look. That is very crisply cut into quite hard oak. Things are looking well. Driving the spindle from the Gerbil speed signal requires a bit of extra electronics. For those interested I will be covering this in a separate video. With that board mounted in place and the wiring tidied up a bit I'm ready to try it on metal. As a first test, I'm going to reproduce the nameplate that I made for my tool chest. First I establish the work zero, then I load the file and check that it looks right, and we're now ready to press go. Probably difficult to see on camera, but the cutting is much crisper than on my work bee, especially the lettering. Very pleased with that. Just needs a few finishing touches, like a cover for the electronics, feet and frame inserts printed from TPU, which are fitted like so, and sockets for power and USB because I don't like flying leads. A couple more test pieces. A leaping fish cut out of oak to check the 3D capability and the top of a branding iron in brass for my channel. Well, I now have a working CNC machine. And I'm quite pleased with it. 
it seems to do the things I ask of it. And yes, there's enhancements. There's a Z-axis probe, for instance. But that's for the future. And now I want to start making the parts that my workbee couldn't quite manage. Hope you enjoyed this. Why not subscribe? Not